Alright guys, Andy Bushcraft here, how are we all doing? Right, finally had a chance to get out and about and we've come to our new little camp. Got little master Frodo over there. He'll be on YouTube soon. Frodo Baggins. Here we are. We've been working on this last couple of days. Got a proper little nice bushcraft chair there. Aldi hammocks, £10, can't go wrong. Well, just out and about for today. Off all day for a week now, so no videos will be coming off of me, sorry. I'm gonna get a brew on now and I'll bring you back. Just getting a brew on the go now. Right, welcome back. Well, we've got the brew on. Mr. Frodo's got his as well. Chill out in a minute and get all of the mess in one. But at the back, got some baps and some bacon. So, bacon buddies in the woods as well. And today, I think I'm going to attempt, just over there, to make a lean to shelter. Probably going to make that out of hazel, because it's the straightest pieces of ear we can get. Because everything else is just ruggled as hell. Aye, so I'm going to finish this brew and we're going to crack on. I'm seeing him. How are we doing, guys? Well, finished my brew. Just had 20 minutes lying in the hammock. And I'll tell you what, for a £10 hammock, come as Aldi, sorry, you can't go wrong. I weigh a lot. I'm trying to call myself fat, but I don't, I am. And it holds my weight. Yeah, so, sorry about that. I had 20 minutes then, laying in the hammock, chilling. And now, some bacon butties on the rip. First batch. Second batch on the rip there. I'm gonna get these and some baps and I'll bring you back. Right, all the bacon's all cooked nicely now. Brung some red sauce for me as well, can't forget the red sauce. Mm. Yep. Cheers. Loving his over there as well. Tell you what, bacon buddies in the woods. Mm. Ready? Right. I'm going to get for the rest of these bacon boys, and then I can think it's another brew time coming on. See you in a minute. Right, bacon boys are all gone now. Proper filled a nice gap as well. Now we're just going to do a little bit of work on the camp. Still haven't named the camp yet, I haven't got a clue what to call it yet. But, Master Frodo's just made us a nice big view up there. I don't know if you can see this tree. It's got a lovely nice tree, all this view in the background. Proper nice. That's why I'm chilling in the hammock. On that view. That's our bushcraft chair. That's done well. This is where our uh, lean to's lean to's gonna be here. Where? Right by the, there. Once the lean to's there, it'll end here where this post is. Let me get me in the view. Once this post ends here, I'll make a nice little wall. More than a wall, like a little fence out of bushes that way. Corn it off a bit then. This is our entrance out here, where my jack is at the moment. Come this way. This little track here is where all the foxes come in and out. So I've cut the fox track in half with my camp. And pan down this way. Here we are. That's the entrance there. And this is where the fox track runners. Trail. Probably. Yeah. Looking good though. Back in the camp, as soon as we come in, hammer goes here. When I have my tent, my tent to go in the middle here. Aye. Looking good though. Now I'll do a bit more work and I'll probably come back to you. Have a good clean up in camp, so it looks a bit better for you. Right, here we are again. This is the way the post is going to be now. As you can tell, the post will be there. I want straight coming down. I'm going to have a load all down here. I don't know where the lean to is, don't I? I don't have to explain one of them to you. We've got my axe on there. Found this nice little block where somebody's been chopping a bit of wood. So I thought, yeah, I'll make a nice little tip. And I got this one down here that we've seen. 
that's going to be like my cooking station. Nice, right, coming on well. I'm going to get another brew on now. As you might be on the list, Master Frodo's gone home. He's had some a family emergency he's had to go back to. There's no stopping me though. I'll crack on for a bit. Do a bit more. Brew first though, yeah, definitely a brew. Hi. Chill out in the hammock. Oh yeah, these flies and gnats are getting my nose though. Got a farm not too far away from me. Get not too far away up there. Hey. Cutting all the fields. So it might be a bit noisy if you can hear anything. Not a peaceful this thing for me, but still out in the bag, don't we? So, okay. Right. Now my cameraman's gone home. I'm gonna have to do this just leaning against my bag for a minute, so bear with me. I've got my 12 centimetre zebra can. Put my body in the water in. My Highlander stove. Stove, sorry. It was reduced though. So got that. It's good in a little bit of kit. Water bottle. I got this one as well. It's a caramel bottle. And it's Sports Direct uh, at the moment they reduced back down to £5. They were £12.99. But you got this as well. So if you are drinking out the bottle, it stops you from guzzling it straight down your throat. That's a litre bottle. Just be careful you don't drop the lid in the bottle itself. Crabby's hot chocolate. Thanks to my last hotel I stayed in. Get off the bag in a minute. Because I need some sugar in this as well. Oh yeah, this is my brew kit. These are all hotel sachets. You're paying for the room, so you're paying for these. Only right, you have to take them on. Let's find any more sugar. This one. And what was this bag in? Oh, that was when my knife and fork and everything came in. But there's either point to keep it in there. Cows off and about. You're not meant to drop your sash right now. Right. There we are. Only thing I'm using to cut everything open today, my little neck knife. Small, really small knife. I've got it to open packets and stuff like that though. I right, enjoyed the bacon bodies today. Nice to get out. Just want this brew now. Brew. The weather's picked up proper good style. Hopefully, I guess my old day probably won't be. Hey, I don't know if I'm going to do any more on the lean to today, I've got that post in. Like I said, uh, Master Bo Frodo Baggins had to go home on a family emergency. So I'll be having this brew on my own. And then I'll be shutting down camp. I have to fold, so I have to fold that chair all the way up, it folds up into a little pile. Just so if somebody does come about the camp, they don't wreck it. Alright, these cows are a bit disturbing now. I wonder if you can see any. No, I can't see him from here. Up in them fields up there. Oh, turn this up a bit. Where the nozzle is. Right, and I have this hot chocolate in my hammock. See you in a minute. Right, hot chocolate's all done. It's in my hammock now. Drop down a little bit, but 
me the perfect size for my table. Got me out chocolate. Just a little bit off for me at the moment. Oh, am I juicy? Hi, sitting here. And me, I've got to bring a spoon out of me today. It's been provided by making this little stick. Shave all the bark to give it a good stir. Nice little fire to the bottom. <coughs> Hi. Pack most of my stuff away now. Just then bags to put away. Right. Taking down the chair, leave that there. Out the way. Out of sight, out of mind, innit? Alright, chill around now. All this hot chocolate. Happy days, what it's all about, innit? These hammocks, I tell you. Can't fault them. Obviously, I don't think I'd sleep in it in the night, but. Perfect for a day hammock. Night time I prefer my tent. Like I said, get proper in it, hold to my weight. Lovely boots. Aye. Cushy stuff. This was my first hammock when we bought it, was it last week, week and a half ago. Aye. Like it. I don't know if I'd ever upgrade and get one of them DDs and spend the night in one of them. A lot of people seem to like them. Like I said, I'm a tent person, ground dweller, they call them. Hi, I'm glad I found this little spot though. What about, what is it, about half a mile away from the road? You still hear a lot of road noises though. We're about a mile away from the farm, the farm itself, got the fields behind us. I don't mind though. Like in the sound of the cows sometimes when you're not talking. They do like to interrupt you half the time when you try to talk. Good yeah, that's pretty good. Nice to be out. So we've got to build this lean too. I'll be on about two weeks time now for the night. I want to build another bushcraft chair for my little lad when he's a small one. I've got all the materials up on the bottom. All this netting. Reach in. Alright, all this netting. That photo bag in the got. I think it's from like a kid's play centre or something like that. Like I said, hold mine in his weight. We're not the smallest of lads, are we? Hi, so build me a little ladder chair as well. Get him up here because he'll love it up here. Hi. Lovely stuff. Just a piece in it. Apart from somebody with a chainsaw in the background. Probably have no license to go and cut down the trees here, but. Yeah, this woodland here is unmanaged. I think it belongs. I don't know where it belongs to. I've been coming here since I was a kid, so I'm rested about a mile away from my house. And I've never seen anybody maintaining it. It's, it's a public puff path going through the far end that way of it. But then it's a steep hill, big climb. This is one of the flattest spots I found, that's why I built the camp here. But you don't get many members of the public trying to camp and climb that hill. Uh, I don't have permission to build this camp. Like I said, I don't even know who wanted to get permission of them. But I'm not doing anything drastic. I'm not cutting down trees. If and we use, will be dead to fall off the ground. As long as it's not too rotten. Aye. And uh, my ropes to touch the hammock. So that's not going to be hurting the trees, is it? And Jack at the back. <sighs> Once it's all set up properly, I want to bring my dog. I don't think I've shown my puppy on this yet. Sorry, squirrel. I don't think I've done any hunting on my channel here. I am a keen hunter, out with the air rifles. I do beating a lot. Can I be a bit of pigeon? That's one thing we will be having in this camp. We'll be having pigeon, rabbit. We'll be catching it, cooking it. If you're interested, we can make a video about it. Alright, it'd be good stuff. Master Frodo Baggins has got a gun as well. Take him out to be recorded with him. Hey, some lovely birds from here though. A bullfinch. Bullfinch as well. Nice, chilling out. Have some more brew. And then we'll probably come back.
You can't be down your camp here. There's a squirrel running right over the top of you. Try calling me, actually stop for a second. I haven't got a quill, uh, a quill. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what a squirrel sounds like, but he stopped anyway. Right, three times. Well, uh, hot chocolate's all done. It's been chilling here for half an hour. It's been a little thing in the stick. When you stir in a stick, then you're leaving camp. Because more than likely, I'll forget the spoon again. Just had a notification from my phone that Bushcraft and Fishing with the Pikey uh, he's released a new video. If you haven't seen him, uh, pop it over to his page and give him a subscribe. Make some good videos. Alright, so that's Bushcraft and Fishing with the Pikey. Aye, right, he's one of the ones I watch. Muddy Paws, he's another good one to watch. Go over to his page and give him a subscribe. Alright, so I think I'm going to pack up in a minute. Maybe. Might have a sleeping salmon crust. <laughs> Uh, have a good pack up and I'll form to watch the new notification of him. Edit this video. I right, hope you enjoy it. I'll probably bring you back when I tidy camp up and when I'm about to leave. Right, that's me all packed up now. Hammock's down. Hammock was there. Mm. This tree. Going to this tree. All packed up. Master Baggins left his cup here. If there's not much of a rush, I'll leave it here for him next time. Me popsy when I'm out. Me logs. Bushcraft chair is there. Keep that folded up away from the wheels. That juice carton that's coming with me is still full. Got a drink. Floor is nice and dirty. Gives that a big brush up with me. Rick. Hi. So that's it for me now. Like I said, I won't be in the video now for about another fortnight. We'll probably back at camp. Thanks for watching. See you again.